Yo, before we start this video, I'm here to announce that Pyron Gaming is now on TikTok. All of my favourite videos I've made through the years are now going to be there as well as some content that I normally wouldn't put here on YouTube. So if you use TikTok, make sure to check us out. The link is in the description below. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Revisited where I take a look at previously covered vehicles within the world of GTA Online and I look at them again because uh, the GTA Online team at Rockstar can't seem to come up with anything other than overly expensive sports cars. The helicopter of many uses. It's a flying machine, it's a magical barrier that only lets living beings inside of it and it's also kind of a rocket ship for going into outer space. <laughs> Bye, Rocket. The cargo bob comes in two variants. Well, actually, there's another one, but there's two main ones that you can get in GTA Online. There's the Marine variant and the Jetsam variant, at a price of $1.8 and $2 million, respectively. But they're both exactly the same. They're both slow as hell, they're heavy like your mom, and turn like there's an iceberg right ahead. Visually, there's a few differences with the detailing of the models of the two variants, and of course the design of the livery is different, but if we take them into our personal hangar, you'll find that not only does the Jetsam offer way more choice in terms of your colour layout, offering the choice of a secondary paint job for more creativity, but it also won't be ruined by the camouflage pattern, which no matter what colour you paint the thing, makes it look like a rhino did that poopy thing with a tail right next to it before you painted it. It literally looks like shit. Anyways, there's a few things that you can use the cargo bob for. Most people already know it can magically Wingardium Leviosa vehicles off the ground if you scrape the hook like it's some sort of floppy male appendage trying to find the right spot in a bedroom with no lights on. It'll carry most vehicles just fine. It'll carry the grocery getter, it'll carry the tong, but it won't carry an insurgent because Rockstar likes to redefine the laws of physics on a regular basis. But hey, that don't mean you can't try. What might interest you is the fact that the cargo bob can carry more than just vehicles, like dumpsters, signage, box trolleys, boxes, missiles... There's actually tons of stuff that the cargo bob can carry, it just takes a bit of experimentation and a steady hand to lift them all, but generally if an object is about as large as a human being and it's a dynamic object, meaning that you can ram it around with a car or give them a good blowjob with a missile launcher, there's a good chance that you can have the cargo bob pick the thing up. It is a bit glitchy if doing this with other people though, sometimes it can desync and you have cases where it's like, yo dude I brought you this nice little pot potty so now we can do that thing that they did in Jackass where they launched the thing into the air and stuff. And he's like, what port potty? I don't see anything. You can alleviate this problem with a good old dosage of sticky bombs. Yeah, sticky bombs of all things. You throw a sticky bomb on whatever dynamic object you're moving around, and for some weird reason it syncs up the object with the world so everyone in the server can see where it is and where it's moving. But this only works if you attach it before you start moving the object from the default position or it won't work properly. A good use case is the cardboard box found here on the map. I'm sure there's other places, but this is the only one that I've managed to figure out. You can attach a bomb to it, you can push it around on the road, you can pick it up with the cargo bob, then take it out to the hills where you can take it out sledging. Well, sort of. I think the hill we chose was a bit crap, but Hey, it's something you can do this Christmas in GTA Online. Back to the helicopter itself. The armor is... fine. It has bulletproof windows like the Kuruma, but it also has the ability to tank one rocket and it'll still be fine. One more and it's a goner. If you store the cargo bob as a personal vehicle helicopter, not only can you change the colour, but you can also open up the rear hatch, allowing people to step inside. Which unfortunately can't be said about bikes and other small vehicles. But you can freely walk about the helicopter while it's flying, you can use it as a mobile weapons platform, you can use it as a skydiving platform. Hell, there's a ton you can do with these kinds of vehicles. I love it when you can just walk on vehicles that are moving. Like the ambulance. You wanna go into outer space? You wanna... You wanna go to the moon and start blasting gangsters in space? No problem, just grab a Kurtz patrol boat, keep hooking and unhooking the thing, and eventually you'll find yourself in the stratosphere. 
And that's pretty much the cargo bowl for you. It's a funny little thing to have. Carrying people, carrying stuff, going to space, sledging in the snow in or outside of Christmas time. What do you guys think? Have you used a cargo bob recently? Have I influenced you to buy or use one again? Let us know in the comments. Make sure to hit that notification bell. Don't bother with the subscribe button because it does fuck all anyways. And I will see you around, folks.